Hello friends, this video on environment chemistry part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about soil pollution now. See this is my soil. This is my soil. And soil is generally polluted by fertilizers or pesticides. And pesticides I have insecticides, fungicides and herbicides or by industrial waste and also by deforestation. So let's understand how fertilizers impact soil. See, fertilizers actually contaminate soil. Fertilizers are made of metals and they are not degraded. And they accumulate over a period of time and they destroy crops. So if you see excessive use of NPK fertilizer, they use the protein and carbohydrate content of wheat, maize and grams. Excessive potassium in soil will decrease vitamin C level of fruits and vegetables. Right? So fruits and uh, Vegetables that is grown over excessive fertilized soil, if you use a lot of fertilizers, they are prone to attack by insects. So, these fertilizers excess is not good, right? So, we talk about pesticides. As I told, pesticides are nothing but they are toxic chemicals. They are synthetic toxic chemicals. They are used to kill or block the production process of unwanted organism. Right? So, it can be my rats, ants, or fungi or weeds, germs, so all these are my unwanted thing in agricultural process. So they want to control the pollution of or population of these species, right? So they use pesticides. But the repeated use of same pesticides give rise to pests, these pests that are resistant, that are resistant to these pesticides and thus that makes pesticides ineffective. So you have to now put stronger pesticides again this becomes resistant to the stronger pesticides again you have to give us more stronger pesticides so with that you are increasing the toxic level of the soil and that is not good correct and as i told they are not biodegradable so they become part of food chain for example at molecular level if you see you have more pesticides and then at human being level you you still get the pesticides so if you are using some pesticides to produce um, let's suppose vegetables, fruits or wheat, you will see that human being also get a good, a small concentration of that. So let's talk about insecticides, one of the part of pesticides. They are generally used to control insects, rats in the crops. They are the insects and the rocks in the crops. They are also toxic substances. Most of these toxics are water insoluble. They are all insoluble and they are non-biodegradable. But still they are used because they are used to control insects, right? So DDT was used in agriculture to control uh, insects and rats, but now it is not used because it is harmful at The next is herbicide. What are herbicide? They are also toxic substance used to control weeds. These weeds which are grown, which are grown on its own on the agricultural land, so to control that, we use herbicide. The common herbicides are NaClO3 and NaSO3. And they have toxic effects on plants, right? They also cause birth defects. They're not good. And it is also shown that if you use, uh, in the corn field, if you use herbicide, they're more prone to insect attack and plant disease. Then I have fungicides. They are also toxic substances. They are used to control the growth of fungi. Right? What are fungi? Fungi are plants without chlorophyll and they live on decaying matter. So you must know this. And these have mercury in it. Most of the fungicides they have mercury in it and they are not good. They are not good for health. The next kind of soil pollution is the industrial waste. Right? So again, industrial. Uh, the industrial waste is again biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. So if you see, we talk about the biodegradable waste, then that means the waste from cotton mills, food processing industry, paper mills, textile factory, they are all my biodegradable waste. If we talk about the non-biodegradable waste, then I have the waste from thermal power plant, the fly ash, the iron steel plant, right? They produce the slag, right? So these are not my non-biodegradable. So the disposable or if you don't dispose this non-biodegradable waste in proper way, then it is a 
serious threat to environment. So it is very much required that we dispose this non-biodegradable waste in a proper way. The next major cause of soil pollution, uh, pollution is the deforestation. If you see, there's a forest here and this, all these trees are removed and this is a good picture of deforestation, right? So deforestation results in flood that cause soil pollution and also it causes soil erosion, right? Because of the wind, if it is deforested, the soil can, uh, what do you call it? The upper area of the soil can blow. It causes soil erosion and Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.